menu inside Ink Frog. Mm -hmm. You're going to click on Templates. templates. And create then you new. can click on Create New Template. And then Designer. Designer. And then Private. Yeah. Now, if you don't want to do a whole bunch of clicking, you can also just go to builder.inkfrog.com, but you have to be logged into your Inkfrog account for it to work. Got it. Got it, okay. All right. So the temp the master template that we're working with is Vantage Apparel. That's the first one here. You guys made all these other ones, but we're gonna ignore those. So we're gonna say we want to create a new one for this next team. So we're gonna open the existing template. Now we're gonna say I wanna edit it. Now we're not gonna make any changes to it yet. Instead we're gonna make a copy. So the way we do that is go save, save as, just like you would in Microsoft okay. Word or Google Docs, right? Got it. And it'll say what do you want to call it? So we'll call this one Vantage Apparel. What was the team name? Let's do Lakewood Blue Claws. Lakewood Blue. Is it one word or two for blue claws? I think it's two words. I'm not a big sports guy, so I'm going by what you're saying here. Uh, the category really doesn't matter. You can select it if you want. It does not affect anything. Okay. It just uh, puts it into like a folder in our system. Got it. So now you have a new template, which is an exact copy of the rubber ducks one called the Lakewood Blue Claws. Got it. And then all you need to do is scroll down to the cross cell section, and you're going to double click on it. Got it. This is how you make changes to the cross cell widget. It will show you a list of every live eBay listing in your account right now. So those are the three rubber duck items that we have that are live in your Inkfrog account right now that have a live eBay listing. Okay. All you would do is uncheck these and oh. scroll through the list and check off the three rubber duck items that are the three uh, Lakewood Claws items that you want to feature in the cross sell instead, and then click update. And, and then that will change these three items to show the cross sell for those three products. And then you just click save, save template to make that stick. Okay. Gotcha. And do and then we call it something. Oh, you already called it the blue claws. I got that. And then to pull yeah. those images, oh, okay. those again, Chris, to pull those images, we need to make sure we put those images in the library then in so order. Put them on your listing in Inkfrog. So I'll show you that next. Okay. So these will automatically populate. So if I go back to your Inkfrog account now. So these are your three listings that you currently have. Right. Let's take this one as the example. Right. The first photo that shows up here is what shows up in the cross cell. Okay. Gotcha. So as long as they, you have at least one photo for your product, which you should always have, eBay recommends six or seven, we tell people 10 or 20, but right. I mean, the, the limit is 20. So yeah, and generally all... the more the better. Gotcha. Um, and then, so you're just going to create a brand new listing essentially with that product data. So like if I go create new listing, you're going to fill in all of your product information just like you did with the other items. You're going to drop in the photos. And then at the bottom, you're now going to see Vantage Apparel Lakewood Blue Claws as the template. Gotcha. So we need to refill in all that information even though most of it's redundant. Like when what we did for the rubber ducks, the only information that's going to change for the most part is the name, right? It's going to go from being rubber ducks to Lakewood Blue Claws, but all the information about the product is for the most part going to be the same. Do we need to just read? We might be able to do that. We do have a function called cell similar. Let me see if we can do that in bulk. Um, you know what I'm saying, Justin, as far as it's really just a name drop change and an image change, you know? Okay. So we don't have a way to do this in bulk, but what we can do is if you click into one of these existing listings, let's right. say the, the polo shirt, the very top is this handy little button called Sell Similar. Ooh. What this does is it creates a duplicate of the item in your account. Okay. So you can click on that. It will say, are you sure you want to clone this listing? You say yes, and then it will give you a new page here saying, okay, fill in the details, and it will have all this information already, and then essentially you would just need to change, I guess, any references to the rubber ducks and the photos. And then do we change, does the listing of the change from MLB Polo to uh, Blue Claws MLB Polo? Yeah. Okay, so we have the ability to do that as well. I'll show you. 
Okay. So I'm going to click on sell similar. It's going to say use the existing images and description. You need to say yep. Got it. That way. Okay. So here's our copy. So we'll just say uh, Lakewood. Sounds Lakewood, good, right? Colorado, Makes sense. Follow as an example. Right. Now I don't have the photos here, obviously. We got to scrap those. The exact same. For the most part, yes. There'll be small yeah. tweaks to it. Yep. And then you go just save, save and launch. Now once you have published the three items, then you have to go back into the template and update the cross sell because the cross sell only lets you select live listings. So there's a bit of back and forth you have to do here. Do you follow that, Lachelle? Uh, okay, so you go the when you what you did first was um, you create the copy of the uh, blue claws, and then even though it's it has the uh, the old logos on there. Then you create the listing for the blue claws and you go back into the other one to change the images. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Because you need to, okay, got it. All right. Yeah. And then aside from that, you are all set. Because I'm thinking this, Chris, um, that's going to take us a while to do, right? Because we have 30 teams to do and for each team we have three different items to do. Before we talk about actually launching this onto eBay, I think this is going to keep us busy for like the next week, you know, at least. Are, are you agree, Justin? Uh, with the way our system is going, maybe a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> maybe even longer. We have, we have internal system issues. So I think what I'd like to do is just see if we, Justin and I can, can kind of do that first. And we can do that for all 30 teams and we can get that up and running. And then we can talk about actually listing it on eBay. Is, does that make sense? All right, I, I think we're going to take that approach because I think you've got more than enough for us to do right now with what with with what you've shown me. And I have videotaped everything <laughs> as well uh, to kind of cheat here. Um, okay. that That's great. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, Chris, now is it necessary to create the new template first or can I do all the listings first and then create templates for each uh, style? You want to create the template first because when you create the clone listing, you have to select the template for the clone listing. So it's going to default to Vantage Apparel because that's the one on the parent listing that you started with. Yep. And then you want to select it here. If you create the template second, what's going to happen is you're going to clone this listing. You're going to go create the template copy. You're going to have to come back to the listing and update it and say, no, use this template instead because it won't show up here until you create the template copy. Okay. Okay. So I'll just, I'll do it ahead of time. So I could probably do a few at a time and then go back just to kill it all. Less back yeah, I mean, the, the quick and easy way is you spend 20 minutes in here, you basically just keep pulling up the Vantage Apparel template and hit save as 20 times to create all your teams, and then that's basically all done. And then you can work on the listing side. Oh, okay, great. And then is, can I get rid of, can we get rid of some of those other duplicate templates? Because we really won't need them. Yeah, let me uh, go through here. Okay, so we want to keep the Blue Claws one and the Vantage Apparel one, wherever it's it's getting cropped up on my screen here but yeah so to delete templates all you do is you just hover your mouse over them and there's a little trash can oh okay cool yeah that makes right. sense okay all right perfect because i'm going to clean all that up okay i think that's all that's totally yeah. enough for us you, you have any other questions right now justin you think you have no. enough that maybe you and i can do one tomorrow and yeah. then i might be able to run with it then if i kind of walk through it with you yeah. and i look at this videotape all right <laughs> Chris, very, very helpful. Thank you very much.